Just underway early first quarter here at the North Campus as a shot goal. Ben Lockwood coming from the back of the net with the shot in front and the Bears get the game's first goal. Just 58 seconds in. Glenn Lynn will send it back behind the Bears net. Get inside for Wendland, a nice over the shoulder shot for the goal, and Jack Wendland ties the game at one. Well, the Mustangs were finally able to break that Bears pressure, and Jack Wendland with the game tying goal here in the early going. 6.48 to go in the first quarter, and we're tied at one. Poda Wills. Able to avoid a check attempt from a player headed off for the Mustangs as Poda Wills drives in. He'll take a shot, and he scores. Connor Poda Wills let one rip. It caught everybody by surprise almost, and the Bears go back in front 2-1. to one. Little over halfway through this first quarter, the Bears on top 2-1. to one. Alternating goals so far in the game. Trying to get it out front of that shot is ripped in for a Moundsview goal. That's Caden Ashford, who I don't think the pass was intended for him, but he ended up in possession of the ball, and he rips one past Reed Vickstrom, the goaltender, to tie the game once again. Vickstrom was beaten, but it went off the post. Mustangs are still in control of it, and they score as the Moundsview Mustangs able to sneak one in, and they have their first lead here with a little over four minutes to go in this first quarter. Bounding pass ahead for Andrews. He couldn't handle it, and the Bears will turn it over as Griffin Zaccardi has an opportunity and a goal. And the Bears will tie the game up. Gavin Hewat. Controlled the pie by Charlie Woodcock. Woodcock working inside. Woodcock with a shot and a goal as he ends up rolling onto the turf, popping right back onto his feet as he gives White Bear Lake the lead. Reeking toward the net is Carney who takes a shot. And a goal for Carney. And the Bears have their largest lead. The first team anyone has led by more than a goal in the game. Three straight for the Bears, and they have a 5 3 lead. Ashford. Oh, the send up through traffic, and it's in for a Mustangs goal. Ashford is his second goal of the game. There's some quick ball movement around the net. Feed inside a chance and a goal for the Bears. There is Preston West getting himself a goal tally and the Bears back up by two. Nice feed and a goal out front. Second goal of the game for Finn Carney. Final 40 seconds of the opening half. Shot goal for the Bears. Like it'll be the second of the half for Ben Lockwood. As they are able to get one here in the final 15 seconds, a much needed goal for the Mustangs. Brody Herr will get the goal. Ferris will come in one last rush, 10 seconds left in the half. Try to work it into the slot, a shot, goal! Griffin Zicardi gets that goal back right at the halftime gun. 
for the Bears. A nice wrap around for the Mustangs, and they will get the goal. Looks like it'll be the second of the game for Liam Andrews. Carney, Lockwood, shot goal for Finn Carney. That'll be his third of the game. This time the Bears able to cash in with the man up. Well, it might have been a shot opportunity, but elected not to take it. And they do get one there, so the Mustangs cut the deficit to three. Liam Andrews picks up his second goal of the game, one of the big four that we talked about in the beginning. Wrap around try and a goal for Lockwood and the Bears are up by four. Good physical defense by the Mustangs, but the Bears able to keep possession in the Mustang zone and score one of those insurance goals we were just talking about. Goal for Preston West, his second of the night. Shot score for the Mustangs, and they're able to cash in on the man up. That'll be Andrews once again. What a job by the Bears defense as they've held Moundsview to about half of what they had scored in their initial four games of the season. If the Bears will put the exclamation point on this one, it'll be Carney with his fourth of the game. 